Hey, this is a video on how to import your pictures from your digital camera to your computer using Windows Live Photo Gallery. There's lots of different ways to import your pictures to your computer, but I like Windows Live Photo Gallery. It has uh, great little options, and of course I use Windows Live Photo Gallery um, for editing my pictures uh, most of the time. Uh, it's a great little basic free photo editor. So, anyways, here's a video on how to import your pictures using Windows Live Photo Gallery. First of all, what you do is you either plug your camera into your computer using your supplied USB cable, or you take the SD card, the memory card, out of your camera and put it into the camera card slot on your computer. When you do that, I have plugged my camera in, so I'm going to power it on, and you should hear a voice, or uh, excuse me, a noise, indicating that it is um, connected to the computer. Mm, hopefully, you heard that pleasant little sound. Now, nothing's happened, <coughs> or it looks like nothing's happened, but down here we see a few options. Now, if I click on this, it indicates that my Canon PowerShot has been attached to the computer, and it has uh, some files on it. There's a few options here. Now, I want to optimize the process of importing my pictures to my computer. Um, so here's, uh, here's one thing that you can do. If, if you plug your camera in and nothing happens, um, look down here for a little window, click on it, and you might find that this appears on your computer. I'm using Windows 7, by the way. So I'm going to change the general settings. Now, the general settings indicate that uh, here's the device name, the, ca the camera name, says uh, when the device connects to the computer, don't do anything. It says take no action. Well, that's not what I want. I want to choose on this giant list of options, import pictures and videos using Windows Live Photo Gallery. And now that's what's going to happen, hopefully, next time. Display notifications from this device on your taskbar. Sure, just leave that check mark. Click OK. And I'm going to close this, and I am going to turn off my camera. As you can hear, the camera turned off. There's a previous window. We'll pretend that wasn't there, okay? So let's start from scratch. Let's, now that we've adjusted this, so let's turn the camera on now. nice little noise, but this time something different happens. We get a pop-up. It's the actual import wizard that appears, which is um, now I don't have to wonder where everything is um, or uh, do any extra steps. Um, we have to do some steps, but now we don't have to do extra steps. So zero new photos and videos were found. Well, actually, there are photos on the camera. It's just that I had imported those same pictures before. Um, so it's indicating that there's no new pictures, and that's a handy utility because um, if you leave your pictures on your camera, on your camera card, uh, this program won't import the same pictures over and over and over again every time you try to, try to add new pictures. So you won't have 50 million duplicates. So our options here are review, organize, and group items to import. Or we can just choose import all new items now. Notice it's grayed out. I can't even click on it. Normally you could if there were new pictures on your camera. But it's grayed out because you can't do it. Regardless, I usually or almost always pick this option anyways. Now there's more options here too, and let's go over that. And we click on the more options window. And it says settings for your camera. Import to. That means where do you want to put your pictures? 
they're on the camera and we want to import them into the computer. So the computer is reading, is seeing the pictures that are on the camera, but they're not yet in the computer. Because if I unplug the camera right now, the pictures would still be in the camera and they would not be on the computer. And many people get mixed up and go and, and wonder, where'd my pictures go? Um, well, that's why. So they're going to be put in this complicated location, um, but generally we want to click Browse. We can choose to store our pictures on the desktop, which I strongly, strongly recommend not to do. And we can find a location where we want to import them. Screen capture, um, you might have your name here. This is uh, the name of uh, the computer user right now. So um, it might say owner or your name, Bob, or whatever. If I click the little triangle here, I have a whole bunch of options. Now we can also alternately click on libraries. Let's just do that. And we have a drop down list of documents, music, pictures. I think that's where we want to put them, right? So we can click on pictures and my pictures. We can put them in a whole bunch of different spots. This can become confusing, and you may be wondering what the heck I'm talking about at this moment, but it relates to the location of where your computer stores your pictures. So that's a whole nother lesson. Nonetheless, we want to store them in your pictures. We can make a new folder. I personally like to organize my photos by date. So let's say right now it's October and it's 2013. So I just lump all my October pictures in this and I have a, a folder for each month of the year. And then when the year's over, I put all those 12 months within a 2013 folder. And it's very easy, well organized. I can always go back and find the pictures that I'm looking for. So I click OK. And now we know that the pictures are going to import to, they're going to be transferred to the October 2013 folder or subfolder in the My Pictures folder. Okay, and if we go down, we go up to pictures and click on that, we can see that there's a new October 13 folder created. This might seem confusing, but watch the video a few times and just follow the steps. Sometimes just doing something is the best way to start to understand it. At first it may not make sense, but the more you do it, the more it's just, oh yeah, that's that's how things work. So next step, folder name. By default, it's set to none. So what that means is uh, we created a folder, right? So all the pictures we're just gonna just gonna go into that folder. You can actually create a specific folder for the the specific pictures you just took. So the the date imported and the name. Um, but I like to just put none. I don't like a whole bunch of a whole bunch of little folders within folders. Um, what I like to do is name my pictures, so I give them a unique file name and apply the date to them as well. And there's drop-down options, just the name or the original file name. It would just be gobbledygook of numbers and zeros and such. Um, and then name and date taken or date taken and name, so that's just transposed or, or uh, switched. Name date taken, I just like to leave that. Here's an example, Himalayas. Other options. Do we want to open Windows Live Photo Gallery after importing? Yeah, I usually do. So once the import process is done, we can um, start to edit our photos automatically within Windows Live Photo Gallery. Do we want to delete the pictures from your device? Well, that's personal preference. Me, I like to delete them off the device, get them out of there, um, so my camera is empty and I can take a whole batch of new pictures there. Uh, I have faith and confidence that uh, my pictures are stored on my computer and, and I back them up religiously. Three most important things you can do with uh, your computer files, by the way. Backup, backup, and backup. 
Always back up your pictures, put them on a disk, send them to your friends, post them to the internet. That way, when your computer, when your computer crashes, you haven't lost everything. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Okay, so nonetheless, I do delete my pictures from my card because I, I don't need to have them in that basket, so to speak. Rotate photos during import. That's a great option um, if you've taken uh, uh, a picture, if you've turned your camera on its side. Um, this will automatically rotate it so when it's in there you're not looking at a bunch of pictures sideways. And we can restore defaults, we can change some other stuff, don't even worry about that. Click OK. Those were in the More options. We're back here, if you'll recall. We're going to review, organize, and group our items during the import. It says it's found zero new pictures. That's hopefully if you rewind this, you'll understand what that's all about again. More options is where we just were. Click OK. Now we're ready to import, so we click Next. And it shows us all the pictures that are on the camera right now, and it's grouped them in three specific groups. These aren't the pictures. These are um, kind of like headings, previews of what the pictures are. Uh, zero items selected in zero groups. If we click select all, there's a check mark in each and every one of these, and now it says 37 items are selected in three groups. We can name each group. Bike ride in the bush. And uh, it has a date stamp, tags, don't even worry about it. Um, we can just have a quick preview of all the pictures in this group by clicking View All Nine, uh, 19. Each one has a check mark indicating that those pictures will be imported. If I remove the check mark, it will not be imported into the computer. I can have a quick preview of the photos within that group. As I said, these two are video files. Just that's why they look different. I won't say any more about that. If we want to close the group, this slider, by the way, allows us to drag down and see the other groups, and we can uh, click that and expand that group and see the pictures within this group. And there's only two of them. And then in this group, it says that there's 16, and we can click that, and our slider is right here. We can click, hold, and drag and look at the pictures within that group. We can put a name to these groups. And we can collapse or um, get rid of the preview in each group by clicking that. And then there's one for each group. As you can see, this group has no name. Let's say. off to the trailer. So when we import, it's going to have it's going to store the, each picture with the name off to the trailer and it'll be like off to the trailer number 1, number 2, number 3, blah blah blah. And it will have the date at the end as well like I adjusted in the more options setting. So I click collapse group, meaning it's just not showing the preview for that group and I've done the same thing for these. Each group is selected fully. If I'll open this one up again, if I unchecked that one and I closed it, I collapsed the group, you'll notice that the check mark's not there anymore, like it is on these two. And that just indicates that not all the pictures in this group are going to be imported into the computer. But if I there automatically the check mark goes and I've changed that. Now all the pictures in that group will be imported. <coughs> Excuse me. So this thing here I like a lot. It's very handy. Adjust groups. There's a slider and uh, if you move the slider to change the amount of time between groups. So right now there's three groups and they're defined by a specific set of time. There's actually um, four hours between each group. If I dragged the slider this way, there'd be three hours, 
2.5, 2.1, and if I go all the way to the end is 0.5 hours. So every half hour, it, it has a group per half hour. So say you were at Bobby's birthday um, at one time in the day, and, and you went to Billy's birthday um, half an hour later, you might want to have them separate. So you could say Bobby's birthday here and Billy's birthday here. Uh, notice the name of this file is still maintained, but there's no name here anymore and here, so you'd have to rename your groups if you chose to. So there's a whole bunch of groups here now. 37 pictures in six groups. We can also drag the slider. Some people like to just have their pictures per day. Okay, these are the pictures I took on this day and this day. Or further, some people, you know, three days, five days, uh, maybe they went on a seven-day trip and they want to have all the pictures in one group. Uh, just imagine, you know, if you, if you had multiple groups of a seven-day trip, um, it gets a little frustrating sometimes, but sometimes you do want that separation. So that's your decision. And the decision is easily made by adjusting this slider here. I'm going to go back to my four hour groups. And we have bike ride in the bush. We'll call this one camp. And that one off to the trailer. Great. So now we're ready to import. By default, if we go into more options, I usually delete the pictures from the device. For this demonstration purpose, I'm not going to do it because I might have to delete or uh, import them again. Um, so we click OK. And just remember, any changes you made, make to these um, uh, more options, uh, if you have them stored next time, or if you're if you're importing and you want to import them into uh, October, and the next time you import pictures, it's it's in uh, November then you'll, you're going to need to go in and change the folder to where these are imported to and you can make those changes. So just remember that you have to do that each time. Just have a quick peek at it and see what the settings are. We're, when we're ready to go, we click Import and the importing process goes. I could change my mind and have that erased after importing but I'm not going to. And when this is done, this window will close and Windows Live Photo Gallery will open. And you can, almost there, almost there, you can watch my next video on how to edit photos in Windows Live Photo Gallery. Let's disregard that for the moment. And here's the photo gallery editing uh, package. Thanks very much for watching how to import pictures using Windows Live Photo Gallery into your computer. I hope you enjoyed it. Please uh, comment below, ask me any questions, or say, hey Chris, nice video. Click like at the bottom of the video just to, you know, just to help me out. Let people know that it was a good video to watch. Um, and share it with your friends, of course, and don't forget to watch my next video about editing photos in the free, easy-to-use Windows Live Photo Gallery. Thanks for watching.